What's up, Gooners? It's LT. It's Westwood. And it's Lucas. Today, we're going to discuss how the story of the twirls and the hair relate to Arsenal's title struggles in the 2022-23 Premier League season. That's the sound of the Gooners right there. For those of you guys that don't know, the Gooners are the Arsenal fans. It's just another name for them. It's kind of like their fan base. And for those of you guys that don't know about Arsenal, Arsenal's a team in the in the Premier League. They, they are located in London, um, and their entire league takes place in England. So Arsenal in the 2022-2023 season started out extremely strong. They were they were recognized as the team to win it all. You know, they had gone in their first couple games, uh, hadn't lost a game, and you know, they were destroying teams by like four or five goals each game. Um, and this all this all kind of fell apart towards the end of the season as Man City kind of kicked it strong. You know, they lost a few few games here and there, but they, overall they stayed pretty strong throughout the entire season, which led them to finishing with 89 points in first place and Arsenal only 84 points in second place. So Wesley, tell me a little bit now about the torch and the hair. You know, in the torch and the hair, their story takes place in the forest, and one day the hair was making fun of the tortoise for being slow, and the tortoise decided to challenge the hair to a race. They lined up for a race, but as the as the race went on, the hare with the swiftness of the feeding shadow surges ahead and decided to take a nap under the tree. Until the tortoise would eventually catch up and he had slept for too long that the tortoise would get to the end of the race and beat him. And in the end the tortoise won and you shouldn't be careless that you just get so far ahead, you're beating everybody yeah. and stuff. And yeah. I agree too cocky. Yeah. So I'll tell you, how do you think these two like correlate? How do you think they're similar? Um, I think that both of these stories have a pretty big social impact. I agree, they both teach the moral of, that it's better to do things slowly and steadily rather than rushing through quickly and thoroughly. It sounds like Arsenal will try to rush through the season and they ended up regretting it in the long run. I bet that Arsenal will try a new approach this season. Hopefully they don't choke again. I hope. I also think that if given another opportunity, the hair would have tried to go slowly and steadily had he known what happens when you rush through something. This is a classic example of when the going gets tough, the tough get going, and Arsenal was clearly not tough enough to win the Premier League in this season. As you said, Luke, Arsenal is not having a bad season so far in this season. I agree. I, you know, in Arsenal right now, I think they've learned from their mistake last year, and right now they're at the top of the table. You know, it's it's all in their hands. If they just win out, they're good. So I think that Arsenal can really prove that they learned from last season by just staying strong the entire season. Yeah, you know, it's been four months since they've lost a game yeah. in the Premier League, so I think it's I think they're really on a good run right now. I think that they can really win it this season. Yeah, I agree. A key takeaway from this episode is, you know, you never can get too high and mighty yourself because these things can just turn very bad for you very quick, just like Arsenal, just like the hair. Just the more time and effort you put into things and the more successful you'll be instead of just speeding through and getting lazy at the end. All right, have a good one, Gooners. All right, well, stay strong, Gooners.